Hello, friend Mormo here. I'm going to Applebee's. I'm, I got a gift certificate for Applebee's. So I'm gonna have my dinner at Applebee's. And uh, my mom said I should get a quesadilla burger, but I'm gonna look at the menu. It's a $25 gift card and I wanna spend all of it so I don't waste it. So I'll probably get something kind of expensive and a drink and everything. So keep watching. Okay, friends, so I had the most amazing day today. And this meal, you can see this meal that I'm looking at. And uh, it was a steak, like an eight ounce steak covered in Parmesan cheese sauce with blackened shrimp fries and broccoli and the fries at Applebee's are incredible the broccoli was incredible I just there you see me eating a shrimp and the shrimp was delicious it was just a really incredible meal and I almost didn't go over there because I don't like well I don't want to talk about it right now but um I almost didn't make this trip but I had a gift card my grandma gave me and uh, I wanted to eat something delicious so I went to Applebee's and uh, just had a really incredible meal the steak was perfectly cooked and uh, the um, waitress was great and it was just a great experience and then I came home and watched an awesome movie I watched um, Wig Wolf's The Wizard of Oz and it was such a rad incredible movie um, it just is really like mind blowing and it's so unique and original and uh, just like really challenging and just a really great movie to watch so it was a really cool day and then I also saw my caseworker today and I reported my earnings today and uh, that felt real good. I'm always just trying to be honest. And I made a good amount of money last month, more than usual. So I had to report it. And uh, really glad to do that. And like I say, I didn't feel great today, but uh, like I was throwing up and stuff when I woke up and then. I did all my uh, math and everything and then um, but it was still a great day because I ate at Applebee's and had steak and shrimp and broccoli and fries you can see me eating the steak there it was so good and uh, it was just a really awesome meal and then a great great movie a wig wolf uh, Wig Wolf the Wizard of Oz was just a really incredible movie and I really enjoyed it. Really my only complaint with Wig Wolf is that the credits were in a font that I couldn't read. So like I, I, I don't know if I was in the credits or not because of the way the font was. And you know when I watch low budget movies I always watch the credits to see if I invested in it or not. And uh, so I'm not sure if I got my name in the credits or not. I guess it doesn't matter, but I'm just glad I got to get a screener copy. And be sure and look for Wig Wolf's Wizard of Oz on DVD and VHS. And uh, you might be able to buy digital copies on Gumroad as well and uh it was a great day just like so i feel so good right now i even chatted with my team a little bit today and just had a really awesome day and this is a long video but keep watching keep watching okay friends so that was a delicious meal it was uh, like a steak with the Parmesan sauce 
and blackened shrimp, and there was broc broccoli and fries. A Applebee's has really good fries. Anyways, it was a really delicious meal, really good service. Um, they charged me like three six three twenty nine for a tea which seems like an awful lot for a tea, but like I kind of wish I would have just got a beer, but I, I hardly drink anymore. But for that price, I could have got a beer probably. And 329 just seems like a lot for a tea. But anyways, I tipped her five bucks and I left a $5 bill on the table. And keep watching, this is gonna be a dinner and a movie uh, video I'm gonna watch Wig Wolf's Wizard of Oz when I get home so keep watching okay friend I had to stop at Spirit Shop to uh, get some smokes and um, I picked up a Venom Zero Sugar I'm not sure what even flavor this is. It doesn't say. It just says zero sugar original. Venom is trademark of Dr. Pepper and 7-Up. Consume responsibly, not recommended for children, pregnant or nursing women, or people sensitive to caffeine. Let me go ahead and open it. I'm just pointed here. My car is pointed at the highway so I can just watch the cars go by and enjoy the heat and enjoy the sun while I relax and take a break real quick and just enjoy myself for a couple minutes. It's grape, it tastes like grape. It has a very strong flavor like grape. And uh, I'm really excited to watch Wig Wolf's um, Wizard of Oz today. I really liked The Wet Ones and um, that was his last film. And I consider it a modern art masterpiece and it's really brilliant and smart and just really great filmmaking. And this one seems a little different in the past. He's used a lot of like dolls and toys and homemade dolls in his projects. But I think this one has more actual actors in it so it's gonna be a little different but I'm really looking forward to seeing it. I th think that guy is an excellent filmmaker and a real up and comer. The kind of guy who deserves opportunities, but in the way things are now, I just hope he gets a good opportunity to make continue to make films. And I think I invested a little bit of money into this movie. So my name might be in the credits, I'm not sure. But I'm really looking forward to it. So keep watching and I'll review Wig Wolf, The Wizard of Oz. Keep watching. Okay friend, I'm at home. I'm watching Wig Wolf's The Wizard of Oz on TV. Stick around and I'll tell you what I thought of it. Keep watching. Hello friend, I just got done watching Wig Wolf's The Wizard of Oz. And uh, let me tell you, it was like a modern art masterpiece. It's just like such an amazing art film and uh, I definitely prefer art films to uh, 
the stuff that comes out of Hollywood these days, like, I don't know. I think to me, a movie like Wig Wolf's The Wizard of Oz is just so much better than Hollywood's product. And uh, I never feel like I get a return on investment on um, Hollywood stuff and like I go I go to a Hollywood movie and then I review it and basically nobody cares what I think you know what I mean like um, when I went and saw Barbarian one of the producers was liking my tweets about Barbarian and but for the most part I, I don't get it very good feedback and I barely make any money back and it's just not worth it to go to the movies anymore for me if I if I was gonna go to the movies I'd go see Barbie just because I hear it's like an art movie and it um and like I'm just curious to see it on the big screen but um I don't know like I mostly I just watch trauma now and uh, and I like like smaller movies filmed outside of the studio system and they're just so much more entertaining to me and one reason is because of relationships like the wig wolf the guy who created the Wizard of Oz that I just watched like we go back years and uh i've been following his art for like years and uh worked with him and collabed with him and everything and so it's like he's like a friend and just to see a friend's movie a movie that your friend made is just like so much better than spending like 20 bucks and seeing some Hollywood product, you know, I'd rather, I'd rather, like, be friends with film, it's kind of, it was the same thing in, in, um, when I turned 21 and found out about bar shows, I preferred a small bar show to an arena show or somebody playing on the radio because at a bar show you could like talk to the musicians and help the musicians and be friends with them and it's the same thing with indie movies like when I review a low budget movie people reach out to me and like I have like a relationship with a filmmaker do you know what I mean and and uh, can help them like it helps more like I can help somebody who's just like hoping to make their budget back or I could support like some bloated $46 million disappointing $46 million opening weekend Hollywood bullshit, you know? Like, uh... I don't know. I'd rather support something like um, Wig Wolf's The Wizard of Oz, and, and it's so hard, it's going to be hard to describe. But like, I'll just describe some of these scenes in it. In that, in this one, Dorothy is like this depressed and guilty person, and uh, she's going down this trail in the woods. And uh, Toto is this shirtless dude who's wearing like a dog hat. And uh, he plays Dorothy's ex-husband. And he's kind of like gaslighting her the whole time, all the way through the movie. And, and, and he like tries to bring up painful memories for Dorothy and stuff. And like to punish herself, she puts chunks of the emerald city into her shoes and like you see her like bleeding feet walking around and stuff and uh the whole the movie looks like a cartoon or something and uh 
it's just so creative it's just like it's just it's just such a uni a unique thing you know it's like something brand new and uh and i loved it i give it five out of five uh t i think like i say to me it's better than anything hollywood is putting out right now wig wolf's uh the wizard of oz is just better than anything hollywood is doing right now and uh definitely recommend checking it out i know it's going to be released on dvd and vhs and it'll be it might be on gumroad and uh hopefully it'll end up on tubi or something but it's just like such a surreal and so uh, it's such a amazing art movie i highly recommend it and uh thanks so much for watching and have a great night